Alright guys, so I'm just coming to you from my apartment in Vietnam. I'm here for a few months and uh, by the way, if you want to check out my travel stuff, have a look at my other channel, Transcend Your Limits. I do like semi-daily vlogs there where I sort of show what I'm doing and travelling and stuff. Anyway, today's video is about why I almost gave up on lucid dreaming and there's one experience which I remember vividly happening uh, about, a year, about a year ago it was now, which was so, it was so disturbing and annoying that I, I remember waking up finally and just thinking, you know what, I don't want to do anything now. I don't want to lose a dream. I don't want to learn any more about this stuff. I just want to drop it all, forget about it, and then get on with my life and completely ignore lucid dreaming forever. And, you know, th these are quite strong words considering I'm essentially a lucid dreaming teacher or, you know, at least I, ha I teach people how to lucid dream through my website and stuff like that. So this was a pretty intense experience. Now, what actually happened was in a nutshell, I had a series of really intense false awakenings in which I was just so completely convinced that I was waking up that I would literally go about, and it's not even like it was a short dream, like this this felt like ages, Like so I would have one false awakening where I thought I'd woken up in, in my head, you know, in the dream, I was going through my routine, getting ready for work and going downstairs, you know, making my breakfast and everything like that, getting dressed and I got all the way to work and then I got snapped back into the dream. But it felt like I had been there for about an hour or two. It really did feel convincing. Now I've spoken about time dilation before and it, you know, to some degree I was lucid. Now this is where it gets confusing because although I was so aware and alert of, this, of the situation, I was so aware of it but I thought it was real. And this is one of the, one of the sort of warnings about lucid dreaming is if you're too lucid, you know, you can really convince yourself that this is real. Um, and that's what happens in a lot of false awakenings. I was so completely sure that it was a real situation and that I had actually woken up that when I got snapped back, it was so shocking and, and, and uh, scary, I guess, that I just had no idea what was real and what wasn't. Now this, I should mention, I'd been sleeping badly, you know, leading up to this, I'd been not really sleeping very well. I'd, I'd uh, had a lot in my mind and I was a bit stressed and everything like that. But that being said, you know, I should have been able to realise that it was a dream. Or at the very least, I should have been able to wake up from the false awakening and actually wake up and go about my day. But I had maybe six or seven of these things. And each one, each time, right, each false awakening really felt like I was genuinely waking up and going to work and going about my day. And the scary thing is, I had no idea when it was going to stop. And so when I finally did wake up and actually, you know, I had to literally pinch myself, like the cliche, like they do in films. I literally had to pinch myself to figure out whether I was dreaming or whether I was actually awake and in reality. And it got to the point where I was quite worried and the line had become so blurred that I didn't know what was real and what wasn't. And because up until that point, I'd always thought, you know, you can always tell. There's all, you're always able to tell exactly when you're dreaming and exactly when you're asleep. But this was different. Um, like I said, I was pretty aware, you know, I felt lucid and I was sure I was awake, but I wasn't. Obviously, it was a, it was a false awakening. So since then, I've obviously not given up lucid dreaming, otherwise I wouldn't be making these videos and I wouldn't be uh, lucid dreaming today. Um, I've come up with a few ways that you can avoid doing the same thing. Cause I don't think any of you would want to experience that. That's quite a scary thing. Uh, no one really likes false awakenings, they're quite annoying. You know, even if they're not scary, they are annoying. So a few things you can do. The first one is make sure that as soon as you wake up, whether you think you're awake or whether you know you're dreaming and you're in a lucid dream, just always do a reality check as soon as you wake up. And what this does is it makes sure that every future false awakening, pretty much you're guaranteed to either lucid dream or wake up. Because if you do a reality check as soon as you wake up, it's going to be a pretty hard to fool you, you know, you're not going to be able to fool yourself with a false awakening very easily because you're going to be so used to doing reality checks as soon as you wake up that you'll just become lucid. Nothing really too confusing about that. The second one is to write your dreams down. Obviously, you should be writing notes on what you're dreaming about, especially if you're having recurring false awakenings or if you're having the same dream about going to work um, or going to school or college or whatever and then being snapped back into the bed that's a routine based false awakening and they're quite easy to turn into a lucid dream if you uh, take note of them and if you like practice the right stuff anyway yeah that's it guys that's how you pretty much 
avoid false awakenings and avoid that scary situation which I experienced not so long ago. Oh, by the way, if you want to get $80 worth of Lucid Dream products, I'm still doing that giveaway. Uh, so for the next, I think, 11 or 12 days now, you can enter this giveaway on howtolucid.com forward slash enter. That's not the key enter. You need to type E-N-T-E-R. Uh, link in the description. And if you do enter, or if you have already entered, make sure you confirm your entry and like click the other links, like, for example, following my Instagram, my other channels, and things like that because you'll get extra entries and therefore more chances of winning the lovely prize which I've selected. It's the bootcamp, the Lucid Dreaming bootcamp, which I spent a lot of time perfecting. Um, if you don't know what that is, go to howtolucid.com forward slash bootcamp. Again, these links are all in the description. I hope you guys are reading the descriptions, by the way, because I put a lot of effort into compiling a list of useful links for you there. You know, there's links to my social media, links to my other secret channels, which you might not even know I had and uh, various other things as well. So check them out, click the links down below, and I'll see you next time. Done.